Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Rift Wizard 2, shall we? Alex. Eleron, good evening, good to see you. Yes, Alex, I was having some trouble um, running the game at full screen and capturing it with my capture software. So I have, I'm playing in windowed mode, which is not ideal, but will do just fine for the stream. Heathrun, good evening. All right, everybody. So we're going to be playing Rift Wizard 2 tonight. My first time booting this up. It is in early access. Just came out. Yeah, it looks good, and I'm pleased with that. The text is... If I run it in full screen, the text scales and looks is much more readable for me. And if I run it on windowed, um, given the resolution of my main screen monitor, it is a little bit too small, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so we're going to just dive in and do a new game. Welcome back once again, wizard, to the ruins of the universe. Aeons passed while you slumbered. You have sleptwalk across many worlds. Weep for Avalon, O oh lonely old wizard. Love and beauty transmuted to chaos and ruin. Your beloved Avalon and you, her loyal servant as well. Your memories and magics have faded. Now a thirst for revenge awakens you. The dark wizard Mordred is nearby. Regain your power. Slay Mordred, vengeance for Avalon. Not yet, Alex. No UI sizing options yet, uh, but, you know, it's very... It's in early access, so hopefully that stuff will come, or um, I'll be able to play, like, full-screen windowed mode or something like that. But yeah, as of yet, no, no options like that. So, what do I know about Rift Wizard 2? Well, I know a good bit about Rift Wizard itself, um, which is, it is an amazing turn-based roguelike, but from, I haven't really read too much about the sequel, but from what I understand, one of the major things with the sequel is that you can get equipment. Um, actually, wait a minute, am I playing Rift Wizard 1 or 2? No, this is Rift Wizard 2. Okay. Um, <laughs> this looks like Rift Wizard 1. Um, okay, let me see here. All right, there's a bat. Yep, there's a bat. And there's a bat spawner. Okay. That looks a little bit different. All right. Um, let me go to how to play. Finish 20 levels and slay your nemesis to win the game. Destroy all enemies to finish a level. Correct. After completing a level, walk into the rift or peek inside. Teleport through the rift by clicking any empty tile or abort the teleport using escape. After you teleport into a level, you cannot leave until it's finished. Correct. Spells and passive skills can be purchased. Yes. Uh. Yeah, it does look exactly like Rift Wizard 1, but maybe the graphics do look the same. It's not saying anything here about um, the equipment yet, so maybe that will become obvious as I go. Status effect. Okay. Well, anyway, um, here's a bad guy. I have no ability to hit this bad guy because I have no skills selected. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. What do I want to do? Life Drain, Lightning Bolt, Magic Missile, Poison Sting, Wolf, okay. Well, let's do a little electricity. Sure. We'll buy one. All right. So I am going to lightning bolt this guy. And that guy. And that guy. Good. Uh-huh. All right. And I uh, can't hit that guy here. All 
Oh, that guy's gone. Where's my sound? Oh, it's there. I just had the volume too low on my headphones. Okay, great. Hey, Siloom, good evening. Good to see you, my friend. All right, we're shooting them. We have 13 charges left, which should be enough. Unfortunately, I don't know if you guys saw the layout of my um, <laughs> level. I hope it's named Francis. But the spawner is over here. So I can't complete this level until I clear this. Now, one thing that you know makes it different from Rift Wizard 1 is... Uh, The music. Some of the graphics are different. Some of the uh, animations are a little different. Uh, here. Man, this is destroying my casting. Whoa. Man, that bat spawner is no joke. All right, we got it. Okay. So we cleared everything there. And... Uh, there's a command for just going to pick everything up. What is it? Um, A. All right, so we got those, and where do we want to go? Which gate? So this gate says, uh, if we go through here, we can earn a portal key, three ma or one mana potion, two memory orbs, a healing potion. This is two memory orbs, two teleporters, a mana potion. Scroll of spells. Ruby heart. Shoebox. There it is. Look. Shoebox. That's what's different. So, um, I think. I think that shoebox says, that says ghost slippers, snowshoes, and winged shoes is different. Like, there's my equipment, potentially. So, let's go check this out. Let's see what that's all about. All right, and where do I want to place myself? Yeah, here it is. Here's the shoebox. I need to go near a spawner so the disaster that just happened doesn't happen again. There's a spawner here. There's a spawner here. All right, I'm going to start up here. I got my lightning bolt back. I'm not spending any points, by the way. I'm kind of like keeping all of my skill points to myself. so I can try to be more economical with my points. So Lightning Bolt is, well, a bolt. So you can see it passes through one target. Uh, almost got this guy. It is a spooky little dance party. There's ghosts all around. All right, let's see. Some good value right there. That's what you're going for, is the value. Uh, well, that's not bad. All right, we got to get to that other spawner. It's pretty far away. Uh, boy, I need to pick up a skill, I think. What do we want? Okay, so we have lightning. Do we want to go ahead and get another spell? Or do we want to get... Um, a trait? Hey, Mop. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Hmm. Boy, this is tough. Uh, what is the... Spells is S. K is the skills. Okay. So what skill would I want to get? Well, I don't have enough orbs to get any skills. I only have two spell points or skill points, so never mind. I kind of overestimated how many I have there, but that's actually good because that means I don't have to bother with it. Alright, I only have one lightning bolt left, which is sad. Okay. Um, lightning bolt's gone. Now there is a mana potion right there. 
I'm gonna um, use a mana potion. Hey, hey, Crispy. Good evening, my friend. Hey, thank you for watching. More to come. More light year tomorrow, Crispy. More Pacific Drive as well. Awesome game. Both of them are great. Lightyear Frontier is decidedly less stressful than Pacific Drive. Got him. All right. Now let's open this shoebox and see what it's all about. Okay, so... Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. First of all, that ASCII graphic of a treasure chest is hysterical. Um, so these are... This is totally new to Rift Wizard 2, which is equipment. So I could have ghost slippers, which every four steps summon a ghost. Snowshoes says ice spells and skills gain one max charge. Ice spells and skills gain one max range and ice spells do more damage, or the winged shoes grant flying. Oh boy. Well, Alex, I suppose that advice is true for any situation um, that stress is all in your head. I find um, when there are several anomalies going down and you're trying to get out of the gate, I find it to be stressful, but that, I'll just speak for myself. Okay. Um, flying is good because you can move over pits. Uh, snowshoes. Um, yeah, there we go, Alex. We can agree on that. Uh, do I want a ghost? No, I think I'll swerve into ice. These snowshoes sound great. Alright, so, yep, right over there, I am indeed playing Rift Wizard 2, uh, <laughs> because I have equipment. Okay, we've cleared that up. Now, I want to, then we're going to push S and look at skills, and we're going to filter our skills um, by ice. Do I want Icicle? Eh. Ice Ball, level 2, range 7. Deal 14 ice damage in a 2-tile burst. Affected units in the area are frozen. Pretty good. Death Chill. So, another thing about this game, compared to the previous uh, Rift Wizard, is they... It, it's clear that they've reworked some of the spells and the skills. Now, I haven't played in a while, and I was never a Rift Wizard uh, champion, so I didn't experiment with everything that was possible. So some of this stuff is going to go over my head. But um, I do... I like... Uh, okay, so Ice Orb, for example. Uh, you get five charges. Summons an Ice Orb next to the caster. Each turn, it deals six damage to enemy units in a four-tile radius. Frozen units cannot act. Frozen units unfreeze upon taking fire or physical damage, which we don't do. The orb has no will. Each turn, it will float one tile. It can be destroyed by fire damage. So we could make a minion and just walk around with this thing. However, um, if I go to my character sheet or can I see my equipment easily let me mouse over this one more charge one more range and six more damage I believe that if I picked up um, ice orb that it would get this benefit because it's type ice and I would get an extra charge the range is not really super applicable, but the damage would go up. Now, Storm Burst, however, says, Unleash an 8-tile burst of storm energy. Sweet. It's also lightning. Each tile in the burst takes either 20 ice or 20 lightning damage. 
Units dealt ice damage are frozen for four turns. Units dealt um, lightning damage are stunned for four turns. So it could do either one. Now, the downfall of this, of course, is that I would get, I believe that I would get an extra charge and I would get extra range. But I don't know if the lightning half of this would benefit from the extra damage that I get from my snowshoes. Maybe, um... I think it does. It just says ice spells and skills, and this is 100% um, an ice spell. All right, I'm going to get this, because I want to try it. I don't know if I've ever tried Stormburst. And... Let's see, what do we have here? We have, uh, this is Fire Bomber, Spark Imped, Horned Toad, guarding two memory orbs, two mana potions, and a ruby heart. And this is, um, no, we want the first one. Uh, this is mana potions. I value mana potions very highly. I already have two healing potions. I think that we can do good damage against the fire guys here now one thing you could do is you can go into the rift and you don't have to commit because as it says on the top right you have um basically stepped halfway through the rift and i could choose any point in the next world to materialize at so i can mouse over these enemies for example and just see you know what they're about um resist poison Resist ice, which is unfortunate. Now, where's the spawners? Here's one and here's one. Okay. And here's one. I'm going to just summon myself right here. And then I'm going to use um, Storm Burst. Oh, is it? It's on... Okay, it summons to me. Okay, I thought it was... I didn't realize how it worked. I thought I could place it. This is fine. Okay, I did get hit right there. I didn't... They have a ranged attack. Anyway, we're going to use Storm Burst right here. How's that? Killed everything. Love it. <laughs> That's awesome, Mop. Maybe I have a doppelganger out there. So, what I love about this game is the big combos and explosive plays that you can get, and that was one of them. So, this thing is damaged pretty significantly, and I'm just going to, uh, I wish I could get into a spot where I could, yeah, hit them both, that's what I want to do. So, I'm just kind of lightning bolting both of these things. I'm going to walk over here, and I might have to storm burst... Nah, not yet. It's not going to do anything if I do that. I am getting hit. I'm being really greedy, but I want to blow everything up. And we did. Alright. Uh, this guy might explode. So let's... Um, he did blow up, but he didn't hit us, thank goodness. And I'm just bombing this spawner with lightning bolt. There we go. Got it. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to pick up everything that we can. <laughs> I do not have another channel. I'm not that powerful. Okay, so we're at the point now where... We have two SP, but I probably want to save it to pick up. At this point, I have two spells. They're working great. I'm going to want to get a skill of some kind. Juan, what's up, my friend? Well, I just started, but I'll tell you what's different, Juan, is you have equipment, which seems like it adds a whole new wrinkle to your builds, which is a lot of fun. Um, I, What ice skill would I like? Um, your sorcery spells gain two damage with each frozen or glassified unit. Now, storm burst and lightning are um, sorcery, but eh. Hmm. 
The familiar could cast your death bolt, icicle, freeze. Um, oh, okay. So, that's eh, all right. Um, <laughs> that's fun. Um, each turn, all frozen enemies take six dark damage. Yeah, well, and I think the equipment is a really good change. Um, frozen fragility. Whenever an enemy is frozen, reduce that enemy's physical and ice resistance by a hundred until it's unfrozen. That's hysterical. Your living minions gain ice resist. This is good if you're going minions. Um, holy water. Whenever a frozen enemy takes holy damage. Oh, I'm not really combining that. Um, I'm not really doing that either. I think frostbite looks good. And so does Frozen Fragility. But I could also try to build up to... Um, Shatter Shards, which looks really nice. Okay, what do we have here? We have uh, this treasure chest. Look, here's some equipment right here. So it looks so far as I'm exploring the game that there's less uh, shrines actually I don't I haven't seen an, a shrine yet so instead of having shrines that further upgrade your skills it looks like you have equipment instead now this one um, there's a treasure chest that has a star blesser a dagger a scepter and a jar and then there's just extra hit points extra hit points um i would like as much equipment as i can get so i'm going to go into this gate let's just check these guys out uh bag of bugs nah, okay um here's a spawner here's a spawner here's a spawner if i start here i think i could just blow up these spriggan spawners spriggans are okay we should be okay. I'm actually going to start here, though, on the inside, so I can reach this faster. Well, um, you know what you can do, though, is you can actually... Uh, I think you can try out... Nah, you can't try out. I might not actually be able to hit eight tiles. If I'm here, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, for, no, it doesn't. I can't hit both. I don't think from either place. So, um, that's okay. I'm gonna st start right here, and I'm just gonna, you know. Well, actually, maybe. Oh, I get extra range. I can. All right, there goes those spawners. Um, that's some bugs. The bugs are coming. Okay. Uh, here they come. Uh, I have a teleporter. Teleport would be really good right here. <laughs> hey, Max. Good evening, my friend. Happy April Fools. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, I got hit. Okay. Oh, dear. Um... I am going to teleport. I planned this really badly, so I'm having to use my teleporter here. I'm going to try to avoid using a mana potion if I can. All the spawners are gone. Let's just try to localize these bugs a bit. Ooh. Almost got it. Ah, oh, there's some spriggans. Darn.
Oh my gosh, we did it by the skin of our chinny chin chin. Okay, let's go get the treasure. All right, so Star Blesser says, for every 40 damage dealt to enemies with arcane spells, automatically cast Heavenly Blast on a random enemy. Okay, Lightning Bolt is um, not arcane, and neither is this. Enchanting Dagger. Enchantment spells and skills do three damage. No. Um, enchantment skills and skill... Uh, spells and skills gain 25% damage for every 50 damage dealt to enemies by enchantments. Summon three troublers. Jar of Quicksilver. Each non-metallic ally you summon has a 1 in 3 chance to be metallic. Hmm. Well, none of these actually help me. So this is something that's going to happen as I learn Rift Blizzard 2. I'm just going to learn which items I want to go for. I don't know what these things do, so I'm kind of just reading them for the first time. And, uh, well, I could go allies. I just fear that my allies will get killed by my storm burst. Let me see quickly what in like enchantment spell is ice eye of ice um every three turns deal 15 ice damage to a random enemy unit in line of sight well, that's kind of fun so if i went for this particular spell it lasts for 30 turns i get an extra charge it does extra damage i don't think the range matters freeze just, you can do it to one target and freeze him. Pretty good. Let's get Eye of Ice. I like the eye stuff. That's good. We learn this. And then, um, we're going to go back here and we can get... Um, do I want three Troublers? The question would be, are the Troublers, like, are they going to help me? 25% damage or three damage. Which is better? I like this dagger. All right, so we have an enchanting dagger. Now, what are the options here? Um, there's a scroll of spells. Ice ball, soul soup, holy armor, regeneration armor. There's a trinket box with some other stuff. And then there's a bag of spikes, three memories. But there's some difficult guys there in the heart. Um, Grand Warlock is kind of scary. This one is easier. I don't know. I feel... Let me look at this. So, Grand Warlock, what are you up to? He resists lightning, but he doesn't like... He doesn't have any defense against ice, which is good. I can start up in this corner and just start blowing things up with... Uh, Stormburst to eliminate a bunch of these witch spawners. Witches are tough. Uh, here's the Firebomber spawner. I like the idea, though. I think we can handle this. Alright, so I'm going to do Eye of Ice. Mm, I started a terrible location. Okay. Alright, that spawner's gone. Man, they hit you from so far away. Hey, Tenadia, good evening. Good to see you. All right, this is the Iron Fiend. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Yeah, this is a massive problem. I don't know if this was summoned or not, but... I'm going to have to use the uh, Aether Dagger right now. Enemy units in line of sight from the user lose all resistances and immunities. Yep.
I have 34 hit points. This guy is still not taking damage. Okay, I'm going to use a mana potion. 22 hit points. I'll heal. Okay. All right. I think we killed most of the hard stuff. <laughs> but boy, that was difficult. All right, the witches are summoning ghosts. Okay. We just got to get down to this... Wi we got to get to this witch spawner immediately. Ah, man. I did that more badly. <laughs> I'm not doing a great job here, but I believe we can stay alive. Oh, I'm out of that. Okay, so now there's just some firebombs left. Let me put Eye of Ice on myself. I don't know if this will work or not. It should work, actually. Okay. Yep, there's one left. I have ice will kill it. I think. Yeah. Holy smokes, we got it. Okay, so let's pick up everything. Okay. I got three mana potions, which is good. I have uh, five skill points, which is also good. And let's check out this treasure chest. Um, the Living Hourglass. It's a trinket. This is also a trinket. I don't know how many of each type you can have. Uh-oh. Maybe, hopefully you can have more than one. So this works on my sorcery stuff, which is Lightning Bolt and Storm Bolt, for example. Now I'm going to go to uh, Skills, and I'm going to select Ice... And I think we want... Whenever you cast an ice spell, freeze the nearest unfrozen enemy to that spell's target for three turns. Ah, I don't really target stuff. I think we just take Frozen Fragility so that we can get through Resistances. Alright, and then what is this? This is Enchanting Trinket Chest. Oh, okay. Um, Scroll of Spells. This has Freeze. It has a Goblin Wizard. Also has a Goblin Wizard. And a Starfire Sorcerer. Well, the Goblin Wizard is looking a lot better. Let me see what is going on with respect to the Goblin Wizard and the Dark Tormentor. Okay. I think if I start maybe right here and I just start blowing things up, I could kill the Goblin Wizard and this Green Slime Spawner. I don't know how wise this is. Probably not at all. Alright, so that guy's frozen.
All right, we killed the Goblin Wizard, which is great. Let's move over here and take out the spawner. Eye of Ice is so good. We have 18 turns left with it. Alright, killed most of these guys. Okay, we just have this spawner down at the bottom that we need to get rid of. We have six turns left as we blast things. Um, these Dark Tormentors, there's not very many of them left. They're the hardest guys. I'm just going to do that, kill them. And yep, there's nothing even left. Got it. All right, that worked out incredibly well. I don't even think I took damage. Okay. So... I have four SP, and we got this uh, scroll of spells. So we can learn Immolate, Soul Swap, Ice, or Freeze, rather, or Thunderstrike. Um, Thunderstrike might be nice. Freeze is also, like, an amazing utility spell. And because of the skill... I'm going to take Freeze just to learn more ice magic. Because of the skill that we took... Um, frozen Fragility. If we freeze the thing, then it's going to take damage from us. Can't get away from it. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's an exotic pet shop. Oh my goodness. There's uh, some memory orbs, a bag of spikes, and there's a lens chest. Cool. Um, let's try lenses, I guess. What are these? Um, resist. Well, they take more damage to fire. Let me see. Is there a good place for me to just blow stuff up? Yeah, I could start here. I hate these bag of bugs. <laughs> yes, Juan. Wouldn't that be hilarious, my friend? Um... I'll tell you what. I'm going to actually be playing Soul Lash 2 on, for the turn base festival on uh, the 8th. So, I believe the 8th. Either Sunday or Monday. So I get to try that too. Now, I actually never even played the first Soul Lash, but I've only heard good things about it as a classic roguelike, so I'm pumped to try it out. Um, let me see here. Here's a spawner. Here's a spawner. And here's a spawner. Yeah, I could kind of go here and just start blowing things up. I like it. But before do I do that, do I want to pick up another ice spell? What would I want? Word of ice. All non-ice immune enemies are frozen for five turns. It's pretty sick because we can combo that with our current spell. Ice Phoenix summons an Ice Phoenix. Um, I mean, I hope that the Ice Phoenix would be immune to ice. <laughs> cool one. All right. You know what, then? I'm going to save my points. Unless I really want to pick up Frostbite. Extra damage on top. Dark damage.
Um, no, I think I'm just going to save up. Okay. I'm going to try to position myself. Here. Ah, darn, I miss it. I got to move over. All right, there we go. Most of the spawners are gone. All right, we cleared out a bunch of the riffraff there. And what is this thing? An electric ghost. These electric witches are not impressed. They resist lightning, so I guess only if my um, storm burst does... It's not working the way that I wanted it to. Hmm. I don't know why oh, they're finally taking damage. Okay. It was confusing me. I think we can get this. Oh, boy. All right. They're all going to come at us, which is fine. Okay, here's what I need to do. I need to freeze this one. And then... Freeze that one. I'm taking more damage than I want to. Oh, cool, Juan. Thank you for the recommendation. It's called uh, Sulfur Memories. That sounds really cool. So, I'm looking at my spot here, and I'm seeing a bunch of flaws in my plan, and it's terrifying. The problem really is that uh, these... If my storm burst doesn't do the damage I want, it's over. Okay. But what ended up happening... Hmm.
The bugs don't actually do a ton of damage. Okay. My eye um, was actually able to kill all those guys. So my eye of ice killed the guys that were immune to the electricity. Okay. Hey, Fading. Good evening. Good to see you. Thank you for that Prime sub. I hope you are feeling better. And you are adjusted to the time change. I'm getting killed here as my Rift Wizard. Alright, so... Sorcery spells and skills gain one range. Fire spells, arcane spells, enchanting. So we're going to probably take this. This is enchantment, this is enchantment, but this is sorcery and this is sorcery. But, I mean, getting an extra range, actually an extra range on Storm Burst is kind of insane. Okay. So now the question is, do I want to actually pick up Word of Ice? and just, like, have one freeze-everybody-on-the-screen situation? Or do I want Chill Wind? I'd get an extra charge. Actually, I'd get two charges of Word of Ice because of my snowshoes. I think we want to take Word of Ice here. I don't know, but I'm going to do it. All right, um, that doesn't... Oh, Sorceress Lens, though, is so good, but the Dragon Mage looks a little scary. Icy Orb. That could be helpful. Fire Lich. I like the idea, like... Fire Belcher, Fey, Treant, Dragon Mage. As long as they can take damage from my abilities, we, we might have a deal. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, that's a pretty big if. Okay, so let's see. What Are you immune to ice? No, but you heal stuff. Okay, what about you? He, re he resists ice pretty reasonably. Uh, where's the spawners? Here's one. Here's two. Okay. Nah, but the, they're not located optimally. Unless these little houses you can, like, walk through. No, you can't. So this means, like, I could start here and blow this up and try to come around the corner. Okay. So we're going to... I have ice. Electricity. Okay, so can we make it around this corner is pretty important. I don't know. Uh-oh. What did you do, make lightning clouds? I'm having a hard time getting out of here. I didn't anticipate this to happen. All right, the Phaetrian is difficult. Okay. Okay. I'm actually, it's so difficult that I'm about to die. All right, so I need to do some new things. I'm going to teleport. Where's the other spawner? Here. And I'm going to... Uh, do that. Okay, good. We at least killed the spawner. Alright, I'm going to try to take out the dragon mage up here. I'm going to use a chaos bell. 
So the Chaos Bell gives a 50% chance to enemies attack their buddies for 10 turns. So I'm just going to kind of let that happen, see if they fight each other for a bit. They are fighting each other for a bit. Uh, what is this? A fire drake. Like, what did that do? Just teleport on top of me? Maybe he summoned it, for all I know. Okay. So here they come. I'm going to Word of Ice. Freeze everything. Then I'm going to... Uh, do that to this guy. He's got 64 left. 56. Uh, I'm just going to do this again. 41. Almost got this guy dead. There we go. Kill them. I needed to kill that big boy. So I used like nearly all of my stuff to do that, but it was I think it was important. Bag of spikes, what do you do? Summons eight friendly rolling spike balls. That seems useful, but maybe not in this situation. Uh, this guy is doing great on hit points, which is a problem. I hit him. He did not... Oh, he has 100%. No, no, now he can be hit. Okay. I'm just hitting this guy with lightning bolt just to use it. It's not super effective. I'm going to freeze everybody again. Freeze that guy in place. Freeze that guy in place. Okay, he's dead. I need my Eye of Ice to hit this guy. I'm being, like, absolutely way too greedy. Okay. This guy needs to take damage. Alright, I killed him. Boy, that guy was hard. That guy was like, let me take all your stuff. But why? <laughs> he wants to. Alright. I have so much to learn. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay. Blew him up. Um, we need to Eye of Ice to refresh it. Oh, these satyrs. What you gonna do? Okay. So I need to I have ice again on myself. Refresh this. Oh, there's a tree in okay. This is terrifying. A word of ice. <sighs> I need one more spell. Like, I need one more ice spell that does damage because Eye of Ice is great. Word of Ice doesn't really do damage, just makes it so Stormburst can do damage, but Stormburst runs out too quickly. Okay. 
Alright, so they can't summon anymore. I'm going to just make some uh, rolling spike balls, see what happens. This guy is... Uh, P resists physical pretty well. I'm just going to stand back and let my spike balls do their thing. Hopefully knock around that treant. I don't know. No. Not at all. I don't think they're getting knocked around. I don't think they care. I gotta get to this spawner. It is not going to be easy to get there. I'm the Eye of Ice. I don't know if I can just hide. Like, the satyrs don't bother me. They can keep spawning. I need these guys to get killed. They're taking damage. Now, the satyrs actually are a problem if uh, they heal the treants. Forty, twenty-one, one thirteen. Okay. Two treants dead. Three treants dead. Balls going after the bad guys. Balls killing the spawner. Spike balls doing their thing. Uh, let me eye of ice. In case this treant wants to get closer, got him. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that worked. That was spike balls for the win. Look at those happy spike balls. They're like just dancing around. They look great. Okay, uh, we have 3 SP. And let's check this out. What's in here? Alright, so the sorceress lens gives me more range. The fang gives me... Um, Minion damage, 25% duration, sorcery spells gain 25% minion damage, and minion duration. Ah, that's not what I want. I guess I'll just take range. Um, yes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to go over here and I need to just get myself something. Ice ball sounds good. What does this do? Death chill. Deal 11 damage to the target for three, five turns. The target dies during this time. Deal 11 ice damage and inflicts frozen on all enemies. Ah, uh, no, no, no. That's weird. That's okay. Frostfire Hydra. No. Honestly, I could just take Icicle. It does physical damage, though, and then six ice damage. So I would do get extra charge, get extra range, and do extra damage with the ice component. Let's just take ice ball. Yep. I need some more stuff to do damage. All right, what are my choices here? This is um, ice slime sigil. Sigil, okay. This is... Uh, Okay, and then this is that.
Um, let me look. Uh, Immortal Ice Lizard might be a real problem for me. Let me see if he's... Well, actually, Immune to Ice doesn't bother us. Sometimes it's also just about the layout. Like, if I start... Ah, this is weird. This level... This layout's terrible. Um, show me this one. Whoa, this is ultra compact. But I could start here and just start blasting. This guy resists ice, but um, we simply word of ice and then storm burst all day long, I think. Okay, here, try it again. All right, there's most of it. Ah, uh, he didn't get frozen, or it, it wore off. Okay. He should be dead, he's not. Okay. Fay Cursed Cat. We're gonna go with Freeze on this guy. What are you? Death Troll, Earth Troll. I'm getting hit now. Oh, we died. Yeah, that's about what we deserve right there. I... We made it to Realm 9 for the first time, which is pretty reasonable, but now I have a better idea of what we want to do. Um... I feel like Storm Burst is just such a weird one because it splits your damage between two sources, so it's harder for me to prepare. So, what happens? Um, what does this mean? Three upgrades available. Learn new spell. Um, Rift, don't know. Wait, what? Oh, okay, here we are. I guess. Oh, wait, what? Reroll Rifts? Wait, what's going on? I don't know what that was. Okay, new game. Um, if I want to start something, we started with Lightning Bolt, but we swerved over to Ice because of the, the shoes that we got. So, let's instead just start with something reasonable like Fireball. I'm a little bit more comfortable with something like Fireball. They're gone. Okay. So what do we got? We got a pachyderm. Indeed we do. Enchanting stuff. A heart and exotic pet. Well, you know what I'm doing right now? I'm trying to learn this game. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to see what these exotic pets are all about. I don't know. But I like pets. So... Here is one spawner. Here's two spawners. Let 
I'm going to use these walls to my advantage and start over here. Boy, that was hard to blow up. Oh, this guy doesn't care about fire. Oh, no, no, he hates fire. He, He's a tree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we want to take boiling blood? Now, Eye of Fire is sweet. Give it to me. Yep. I just love the eye spells. They're just like, what? You want me to hit something? I will. Great. Oh, the upgrade system works differently. Oh, I haven't messed around with that. That's another reason why I lost, I think. I may have had... Okay, well, there's a lot to learn. So, the upgrade for the spells and stuff works differently than it did in Rift Wizard 1, which, you know, shouldn't really surprise me. Um, I still have Eye of Fire, but I don't think I can rely on it to kill everything right here. Maybe. We'll pretend like it will. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to make it if I if I don't use some stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the mana potion so I can actually shoot this and that. Okay. I didn't want to use that. But you get your hit points back when the level clears. So let's go check this out. Start each level with the Ghostly Raven. Joker Soul, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Start each level with an Immortal Kobold or a Metallic Rotting Zombie. Uh, I mean, who doesn't want an Immortal Kobold? Sure. Reincarnates when killed two times. Do it. All right. And what do we got over here? Fiery Hourglass. I like it. Electric stuff. And extra hit points. We're going here. This is scary. I'm trying to just target this and see what my Cobalt can do vis-a-vis -vis keeping us alive. That might not be anything, by the way. Do it, Cobalt. That's so Raven, Cobalt. Get him. Uh, well, I'll kill that one at least. Mantis. Did. Get it, Kobold. Shoot it. Do your thing.
So this is a nice thing whenever you see pets in this game that you start a level with guaranteed. You don't have to use any resources for them. And in my experience, what's cool about the pets is they just really carry you. Like, they not... I don't think that Immortal Kobold's going to hold up forever. But for now, he's super strong. Just helping me be efficient. And let's see what we can get in here. So the Fiery Hourglass says, Fire spells and skills gain 25% duration. Every three turns, the nearest two enemy units are afflicted with blind. Dark spells gain a charge, and dark spells and skills gain 25% minion damage. Let's go with the Hourglass, and let's go with Maya Skills, and let's just say Fireball. Um... Okay, that's interesting. What about Eye of Fire? What happens if I want to level that one up? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Yes, Eye of Fire. So, I leveled it up. It might not be wise, but I love it. So, this means that every time my Eye of Fire kills something, it fires again. Okay, what do we got? This is... Uh, fan the flames. Okay, perfect. Anything that's fire, I'm interested. Robe of crystal sounds cool. Now, the troubler might be too much for me. What is he up to? Uh, he doesn't care about fire. As long as they can take fire damage. I'm open to the possibility of fighting them. Where do I want to start? I guess we'll start back up here. Okay. I've been taking some damage here. And by some, I mean a lot. I think my kobold got teleported and is like out there shooting stuff. Okay, I'm taking more damage than I've ever dreamed of. This troubler is no joke. It's so far away. Actually, I'm not looking at this correctly. It is not my kobold that's firing. It's these troublers. And the troublers... Um, just teleports victims around. Maybe it did teleport my guy. Maybe that's what happened. Alright. So this guy hit me. Alright, we got him dead. What we really want is for our Eye of Fire just to shoot these guys. Okay, they have an incredible range. There you go. That's my Eye of Fire. And it We'll fire again if it can see them. This guy's down here. Okay. I just have to get him close enough so that I can... Ah, uh, just cast Eye Fire again. There's no reason not to. He's so hard to hit. Oh, here we go. Got it. All right. Okay, so what do we got here? Fan the Flames, Sorcery, level 2. Deal 9 fire damage to all units in a cone. This spell can be channeled for 10 turns. The effect is repeated each turn the spell is channeled. Yeah, that's pretty good. Chaos, Enchantment, Sorcery. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Annihilate. Deals 16 fire, 16 lightning, and 16 physical to the target. 
that's pretty good for like a wide range of damage. But I think I want some AoE. Now, none of that has duration, sadly. Ruby Heart. Sinister stuff. Exotic pets. I mean, do I want more pets? Kind of. Glassmaster looks scary. Can't take a Glassmaster? Heals allies instead of damaging them. That's kind of interesting, but I think we just go over here. And here's the pet place. Jonathan, what's up, my friend? It's a great question. So, I'm new to the game of Rift Wizard 2. I played the first one. So far, I've seen that you can stack your equipment, Jonathan. So, I've had multiple trinkets and been able to use all of them. It didn't, like, replace them or say I couldn't pick it up. So, I think you can have as many pets as you'd like. But... We'll see if the game says otherwise. I will start myself... Down here. Hey, Procrastinator. Good evening, my friend. Oh, awesome. I hope you're enjoying it. It's such a fun and relaxing game. I can't quite fan the flames where I want, but I can fireball where I want. Hmm. I gotta uh, break apart this thing. You could see my Eye of Fire doing good work. Oh, cool, Procrastinator. I hope you're finding it to be helpful. I'm going to be doing more episodes on that guide series. Just to, you know, bring it up so that you can get further into the game. There's my buddy. All right. Cobalt, we got to get out of here so that we can, uh, we got some work to do, dude. Here. Uh, this guy should have been dead. He didn't die. He's gone now. Well, not really. Oh, of course, my friend, of course. My pleasure. Yeah, sometimes it's always fun to do those guide series because the game itself is just so fun to play, so I'm like, cool, I get to play the beginning of the game again, which I enjoy. I'm going to try to use my burning hands. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, there is a spawner down here that we have to get rid of, as well as a bunch of other just rando enemies, but we'll get there. My kobold is working on this. I don't know how he got down there, but he's down there. All right. You know, Fading, this is a great question. So, the only spell right now it's doing anything for, the Hourglass extends the duration of fire spells. So, this Eye of Fire that I have is a fire spell, but it's an enchantment spell. 
And so it lasts for 30 something turns. Um, but I think I got the 25% boost, so it lasts for 38 turns. So maybe it only lasted for like, you know, 30 turns before. And then now it lasts 38. So this is the only one that benefits. I'm looking for something fading that does like burn damage. You know, some kind of dot. But I haven't got that yet. But Eye of Fire, I probably shouldn't have leveled it up, but it's just so good because it just automatically hits anything in line of sight, um, which is great. Uh, looks like there's some of these guys over here. And we got him. The other thing that's crazy, it's been a while since I played Rift Wizard 1, but I don't remember correctly, but in this one, you restore all of your hit points and all of your spell castings at the end of the level if you clear it, so it's really a, it's really a cool balancing act. Like Both of these games are so well made with the decision making and the timing of everything and like what do i want to level up now i finally have six skill points so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to just filter my skills for fire and see what do i want so i could get chaos familiar which every five turns i summon a chaos chimera familiar if i don't have one and it has ranged fire and lightning attacks and it can cast your fireball which i'd use um with a three turn cooldown so that's great there's also hound lord Whenever you cast a fire spell, if you have less than four hellhounds, which I do, you get to summon one. And I could just make a bunch of hellhounds on the screen. I like stuff like pets because they're really efficient. I could also melt the armor um, to res reduce their physical resist. Uh, Prince of Ruin. That's pretty funny. But let's see if any of these things have a duration. Yes, these are all passives fading. So the skills are passives. They are expensive SP-wise. They start at 4, and then they scale up. They're, these are all really, really helpful. And I've filtered them just to be fire-relevant ones, so I can, like, move into a fire build. Um, so Hound Lord, Chaos Familiar, good, right? Then Void Flame Lantern says, whenever you cast a fire or arcane spell, gain star charged with duration equal to the spell's level so for example fireball would be one turn however i might get a duration burst i'm not sure and then it deals six fire damage to one random enemy in line of sight each turn and six arcane damage to another so it's just like free damage to anything in line of sight now you don't get to choose it though that's a good question crispy um I know eating a banana helps with potassium, which helps your heart, uh, your blood pressure, but I don't know. It, it helps lower your blood pressure. It's like 12% of your daily potassium from a banana, I think, something like that. But I don't know if it helps with cramps. One thing I, I feel like I know can kind of help sometimes with certain cramping is just water like hydration but I, I don't know I'm not that kind of doctor yeah yeah Alex has got it um fiery judgment whenever an enemy takes fire it is then redealt half that damage is holy pretty good ghost fire whenever an enemy takes dark damage and fire damage ah, I'm not really doing that um but I think there's a way to make that happen. Yeah, Holy does seem good to get damage diversity. I agree. Uh, Starfire says is the same thing, just re as Arcane instead.
Yeah, 50% is a lot. So the question is, do we want... Um, Yeah, let's go Fiery Judgment. I agree. Takes five, but it's very good. Now, what do we got next? Um, oh, we got a pet to choose as well. All right, so this guy, um, Metallic Green Slime, Troll-Blooded Ogre, Burning Polar Bear. I think we have to take the Burning Polar Bear because the irony is just so funny. Like, I mean, how often in the wild is the polar bear going to encounter, encounter flames? Do it. All right, what's this guy up to? Oh, he resists fire. Each turn deals two fire damage to enemy units in a four-tile radius. Love it. And when he dies, he blows up and does fire damage. Now you're talking... Uh, I don't know if you could see their stats before you choose them. <laughs> but he's cool. He's got 215 hit points. He's massive. Crispy, I'll tell you what. Cheese is delicious. So I can almost believe it. Give me a report. Tell me if they were worth it. I'm curious. Flame Force Cap, I want this. Although a ruby heart would be really good. Having 50 hit points is brutal. That being said, Fire Bomber um, doesn't care about fire damage. Let's see what Hellhound doesn't either, though. Hmm. Let's see what we got. So Hellhound, resist fire. The question is... Is the holy damage I do enough to kill the Hellhound? And if, are there Hellhound spawners? Because if there are... Yeah, that's... I don't think this is a... I do holy. So that I have that going, right? And then I think that my kobold and my polar bear could maybe do something. But I need to get a... Figure out a way to do better in this situation. Let me look at this. These fire bombers actually don't resist fire. These guys are take extra damage against Holy. Yeah, I think I should do this one because 25 health is very good. And this just looks like it'd be easy for me. Oh, this red cap resist fire though. Unfortunately. Well, this is why you pay the big money like I did for uh, being able to deal half the damage again as holy. Because... Um, we can at least hurt these guys that are otherwise immune. Uh, I'm going to use my death dice. That didn't go like I wanted it to. Now, last game, I had a much better way to deal with guys that were immune. These mushrooms don't do a lot of damage, but they're annoying. Um. What am I going to do? Use all of my stuff right now? I guess so. Oh, I died. Okay. 
that went badly. That was a bad choice on my part, but um, I was confused. I thought I made them vulnerable. That didn't work. So, you know what? That might have been the bear blowing up on me. Yeah, yeah. You got to watch out for that in this game with pets. Um, Fireball says three upgrades available. Eye of Fire is what we got. Fan of Flames had three upgrades available, meaning we didn't upgrade it. I guess this is what it's telling me. This that I didn't do it, and it gives me some more breakdown. Hmm. Okay. These are all the rifts, so let's go for a new one. All right, well. It is crispy. Although it just came out of early access a few days ago. All right, so we're going to try a new build. I have not fading. What do I want? Magic missile? Do I want to go arcane? Do I want to go pets? I do. Yeah, let's go wolf. Wolf is fun. Let's just try this one. Haven't done it in a while. Summon the hounds. <laughs> that is hilarious, Fading. He's a Pomeranian with papers. You can't board him. He'll get depressed. His hair falls out. Okay. Release the hounds is such a good Mr. Burns quote. Yes, Jonathan is right. Okay. So, we got a couple points, and what do we want to do? Um, wow, who doesn't like bags of spikes? Enchantment, wand, oh, banner of the horde. Oh, I know I want that. Let me at least see what the banner of the horde is. I don't care. I want to see it. Yep. Launch me up here. Go, pets. Oh, wait, there's a guy on me. That's not supposed to happen. Mm, this might not work like I dreamed. The ghost might be a little bit too dangerous. Okay, well, in a situation like this, I'll spend one point <laughs> and just get something else uh, to summon or another spell just to do damage. It's like one, but um, wolf is uh, conjuration. So go for conjuration. What else is out there? Oh, right. Death bolt. You can make dudes. Um, this is the Gotia offering summons a Gotia. These ghosts are too hard. Get out of here. Why you gotta be so tough? They're killing all my stuff. Well, actually, no. My guys are there. They're just not where I want them to be. <laughs> the 
They are dumb, aren't they? Oh, boy. Okay. Hopefully my pets can do the job now. I'm just going to wait over here. They have no hit points. They just blink around. Alright. I'm gonna get Death Bolt. I'll just have a little bit of damage over here, just to fight the ghosts. Alright. Fine. I'll kill everything. Alright, we got him. Eventually. Pets, you gotta do a better job. Alright, where's the, uh... Wait a minute, I thought I went for the Banner of Ruin. Did I not select that? Oh, thank you. It blended in. Oh my god. I didn't see it. Whew. Whew. Okay. All spells and skills... Gain one number of summons. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. More. Okay. Now we're doing it. Extra hit points. Good. Uh, pyrostatic oculus. Poison pipe. Careful with that. Eye helm. Dark wand. Ruby heart. Chaos Bells. Okay. I'm going to go for the heart. Get some hit points. So, I'm going to just stand over here. Oh my god. No, I didn't realize this. The Banner of Ruin, when I summon one guy... I just thought it would give me one extra charge or something. No, it summons two. You get a two for one. I'm making so many dogs. Here they come. Go, dogs. This is what was hurting me. Yes, yes, they do. They do. I don't like it. I didn't understand. I thought it was just an early access bug. You see how Gotia offering says zero s s charges? It's because you used your life instead of the charges. So there's that. It takes five hit points to summon each Skull Boy. So we got to be careful. <laughs> We could use them, but we gotta watch out. No, I think I only get one. I don't think it works. Yeah, we got a skeleton. 
It's a fun one for sure that it gives you two. However, um, we've come to a difficult situation here where we didn't actually kill anything yet. And we've got... They're summoning too many Void Bombers for me to deal with them fast enough. So I gotta do that. And I gotta go make my way over and, uh... Turn guys into skeletons. There we go. Skeletons are tough. Okay. So we got three. Do I want another conjuration at level three? Psychic seedling. Plant a brain bush seedling. It will eventually mature into a forest of brain bushes. That's right, it will. I want a heavy hitter. I don't know what the brain bushes do. Spell upgrade's a good idea, right? Let's see. Wolf. Ice hound. Summons ice hounds instead of wolves, okay? I'm sure those are better, and I would get two of them. I could also go for uh, Frostfire Hydra. I mean, this is a bigger one. But the problem is it would hit my buddies. So you have to watch out for your, your swarm of pets because they can hit each other. Ghost Ball. Summons a ghost at empty tiles. Ah. Giant Bear. Now we're talking. Yeah. There's only two charges, but I would get double the giant bear. Yeah, who doesn't want to summon a bear, right? Let's go for it. All right, what do we got here? Um, a heart. Hey, Ninja Joe. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Oh, exotic pet. Um, I think we go for this, but the troubler scares me. Hey, it didn't summon more bears. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome, my friend. Yeah, loop hero is sweet. Unfortunately, the Banner of the Horde does not work with the bears, and I don't know why. All spells and skills gain one number summons. Maybe, I mean, you see how Wolf at Change summons two wolves, but Giant Bear is just like summon one. Ninja Joe, this is called Rift Wizard 2. It's a, it's a sweet, like, classic roguelike. Usually you just have to experiment to see what the interactions are, but that's a shame. Alright, they broke that thing. Okay, they killed that, so there's two, two down. I'm going to summon some goats. I'll spend some life while I'm back here just chilling. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Jonathan, so the number has to be a variable. It can't just say, like, it has to say summon one instead of summon a bear, I think is what the language I'm looking for in the future.
So all of the spawners are dealt with. We're just waiting on the, the rest of the troublers. But the giant bears are a hit. They're still alive. They're just walking around, killing stuff. The troublers are just annoying because, as you can see, they blink to, like, the sides of the screen. And they're just kind of picking you off. So most of my dudes can't fly, so it takes them a second to get there. But once the troublers actually uh, make landfall, we'll be all right, I think. There's two of them left, looks like. One left. Got it. Well, that one... That room actually went pretty well. Let's check out what pet we can get. Um, we get a... Gotia Lich. Funny. A Clay Centaur. Or a Immortal Green Slime. I mean... A Centaur made of clay seems pretty good. Yep. Regenerates hit points per turn. I like it. Okay. So, there's Displacer Beast, Glass Master, me. Dragon Tooth, Cobalt Clog, Sorcery Wand. Um... I mean, I kind of want some items. This looks more dangerous, but... I don't know. I'm going to go for it. Um... Where can I start? I have two Chaos Bells, actually. I'm going to start way up in the corner. And I'm going to immediately use my Chaos Spell. So the Chaos Spell makes gives you a 50% chance that the enemies turn on each other. Hello, good evening. That's true. Could have been useful. Let's get some bears out. Go bears, get them. Here go my dudes. So a lot of these guys are still fighting each other because of the chaos. I'm going to um, jump on this opportunity and try to summon as many dudes as I can. We need all the true dragons. I need like 50 dragons. Alright. So there's a little... Uh, Mr. Krabs, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. There's a little bit of a scrum going on in the middle of the screen, as you can see. Mr. Krabs, I heard about this. Is this the, uh, <laughs> the bench-sitting skill? <laughs> so funny. I was laughing about that yesterday. Did you train it up, Mr. Krabs? Did you get the skill cape for it? Alright. Um, I'm going to start trying to bomb the middle of the screen. And make some skeletons. I don't know if this is going to work or not. My bears are trying to get in there and fight. It's just difficult. This level is weird. There's lots of empty space. Oh, we got a skeleton. It's on now. Another skeleton. Oh, 
Oh, cool, Alex. You've been testing it out. I don't think I have enough stuff anymore. I have... And by not enough stuff, I mean I have no stuff. And this thing is summoning Displacer Beasts. And this is summoning... So, my pets did not work. Is where we're at. I'm going to use this and see if it does. Go over here. Pick up this. So, let me look at what abilities I could get that are conjuration. Bone guard. So, the bone knight, I could summon right away. Chaos familiar. Look at this. Conjured Aggression. Conjuration spells and skills gain 50% minion damage. That's very good. That gives him more health. Clay Wolves also sounds like a good idea. For sure. I... Cr Hey, Tahoe, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. I could do a bone guard, but I could also... You're right. I could go to um, my conjuration skills, and I could level up. Well, let me see about the bears really fast. Metal bears. Sounds good. Venom bear. And a blood bear. <laughs> God. The idea of a blood bear... Um, yeah. I need one more to get those guys. So let's do it. I'm going to summon some bears here. I need to get through. This level is just killing me because of the way it's positioned. I should have never chosen this level because of the fact that I have all these pets. Like, there's just not enough room for me to get my army through at all. I could pick, though... I might have to pivot and just take uh, some kind of drake... Imp Swarm... Something that flies. Yeah, I think you're probably right, Jonathan. Let me try these imps. Okay, we got a lot of imps now. Yeah. 
It is a lot of imps. We just need enough to get through. Okay, I got another skeleton, which is good. And I could start summoning some wolves. Alright. Go over there. Oh god. He's hitting me. Alright, we gotta summon some goats. Do some damage. Ah, uh, good one, Siloom. I hope that they don't. We're almost there. We have a... Well, no, no, we're not. We're not almost there. I lied. All right. Well... We're not... Completely useless. I really want to get a skeleton out of this guy. There we go. That helps so much. All right, go get it. Go do it. We got to finish off the last... Um... Now nah, these guys aren't even hurt. Come on, goats. I need you to do some work here. Now, these treants are just not taking damage. We almost turned the corner with this. I think... Here. Whoa! Dragon spells gain 9 minion damage. Every 4 steps, summon a kobold. Okay. Yes, yes, you're right. Alright. Get a kobold out there. Here come the kobolds. Okay. Now I need to use this right away to get a new spell. Don't care what it is. Actually, life drain is pretty good. Um, because it lets me summon more goats. Doesn't really do very much damage, though. Oh, I need to let it go. I wasn't letting it cook long enough. I see. Can I stay alive long enough by draining all of their health and just continuing to summon these guys? You see my hit points? Like, they keep going up even though I'm spending hit points on these skulls, but I don't know if I... They did finally break the house, so they can't spawn anymore. Can I get enough of these dudes... Okay, I'm no longer getting hit points back, so I got to life drain somebody.
I don't know what it is that makes it so... Uh, these guys don't take damage from my skeleton dudes, but they really don't. Maybe they just don't do enough damage at all. This is a very slow method, but there is a possibility that we survive this. They heal self. That's what it is. Every three turns they heal themselves. And so I can't quite outpace that. Such a weird situation. I'm going to use the Aether Dagger. I mean, like, I have no choice just to try something. I am summoning more and more goats. There are one, two, three, four, five of these guys. I have like 50 goats on the screen. No, I don't. I have like five, but it appears to not be enough. Yeah, this guy's just, a, they're just at full health. They're just like, whatever. There's four left. Maybe if I could time it exactly right with their heal. But the goats are like, they're not fighting. You see, it's like, what is this guy doing? Why are they over there? Teleports to a random tile, I guess. Okay, so maybe they'll come over at some point. Oh, we killed one. There's three left. Oh, two. Okay, I'm out of... Um, my spell, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The level uh, layout really, really hurt me here. Plus, I didn't understand these Gotia offering. I don't think I'll ever acquire these again. They're too unpredictable. They don't do enough damage. Like, I have all of them on the screen, but they're not doing anything. Like, they're not fighting. Uh, not, not quite what we're looking for here. But it's educational. This is how you learn what you might want and what you might not want. And that is a might not want. And I was going to try to upgrade the wolves, but I just couldn't get them to go down that little bridge and survive. I needed something flying, and Imp Swarm was great, but again, they only last for a certain amount of time. So I needed maybe a Drake, something that had hit points that could have survived a little longer. But at the same time, um, you know, I just love... Rift Wizard, and Rift Wizard 2 is fantastic as well. It's just such a cool game. You have to know a good build and a good strategy, really, to 
gain traction and you learn that through trial and error or through you know net decking which i might you know do at some point but anyway i'm really glad that i got to try it out and it's brand new and i want to see how it continues to shape up in early access but it is indeed my bedtime, so I want to say thank you everyone so much for coming out to play some Rift Wizard 2. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. We will be playing Against the Storm tomorrow night. My first time uh, playing full access or full release of Against the Storm. I'm excited for that. Siloom, Jonathan, Fading, Alex, Ninja Joe, Crispy Bacon, Chloe. Tahoe, Dirty Mop, Juan, Alex, Heathrun, Eleron. Take care, everybody. Hey, Mr. Kiwi, good to see you, my friend. Take care. Have a great night, everybody.